Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Bits Brick Headlines on this Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day and staying cool out there as we're about to heat up in the next couple of days. And that's where we start our headlines. We talked a lot about, about yesterday about being ready for these uh, heat indexes to be, uh, well, really hot. Uh, but let's talk about some safety tips here uh, first and foremost uh, as we go into the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, during these extreme heat uh, warming, find air conditioning, avoid strenuous activities, check on your family uh, family members and neighbors drink plenty of fluids and never leave people or pets in a closed car ever preparing uh, for heat uh, by finding places in your community where you can keep cool we'll talk about that in just a second but also uh, make sure you keep your home cool by covering the windows uh, with drape shades and adding insulation to keep the heat out uh, and uh, of course, uh, using insulation stuff can help around the windows from keep your air in and out, uh, depending on the, the type of year. For using fans with temperatures above 95, fans will provide a significant cooling effect by promoting sweat evaporation, even in a high temperature. So use fans along with other strategies like drinking plenty of water, wetting the skin, using damp clo uh, clothing. Remember, fans help with cooling, but do not replace the need for adequate hydration and rest in a cool environment. And uh, if you do need help, uh, there are uh, designated cooling centers that can be open depending on what's going on. Uh, our designated cooling centers uh, are the Fitch Republic Library, the Community Center, the Senior Center, and the Splash Pad. Although at the Splash Pad, keep in mind that you still need to get out of the sun uh, for cooling down. And again, this is going to continue on here for the next couple of days. So uh, quickly jumping into some uh, health uh, safety tips here uh, for those uh, that may be exposed to this heat if you're outside uh, or stuck in a high, hot environment. Heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. Heat exhaustion, you might feel faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, pale, clammy skin, nausea or vomiting, rapid, weak pulse, any of these symptoms, you need to get into a cool air. Get yourself out of the elements. Drink plenty of water if you're conscious and take a cool shower using cold compresses. Heat stroke, that could include throbbing headache, no sweating, body temperature above 103 degrees, with red hot dry skin nausea vomiting rapid strong pulse and you even may lose consciousness these are emergencies you need to call 911 immediately get the person out of the elements as quickly as you can and if you think uh or please check on your neighbors and again if you think somebody's in trouble uh call 911 and get them help if there's any emergency infill that needs to be passed on we'll pass it on through all of our media outlets here on Talking Fitchburg uh, and uh, anywhere that uh, we can get the information out to you, we will do so. Uh, turning our attention over the Fitchburg Police Department on a couple different incidents. One uh, taking place over the weekend on Saturday, August 19th, around 3 p.m., officers responded to a single family home in the 2800 block of Rimrock Road for a welfare check. The caller requested officers to check welfare of a family member who resided at the house. Upon entering the residence, officers located two deceased adults. A 39 year old female and a 38 year old male were found dead from apparent gunshot wounds. Officers recovered a firearm. From the scene, a search of the residence did not locate any suspicious, anything suspicious. Autopsy confirmed a female died from multiple gunshot wounds and a male died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Investigation, investigators learned the man and woman had a relationship and lived together at a residence. The incident is currently being investigated as a murder-suicide. It remains open uh, investigation as personnel from the Fitchburg Police Department and Dane County Medical Exam Office continues to look into the current circumstances. Names have been not released uh, at this time time. And the Fitchburg Police Department uh, making uh, arrests here, reckless endangering uh, events that have been taking place since August 15th. The Fitchburg Police Department has been investigating three incidents of people dropping or throwing rocks from a railroad bridge over Highway 14 just south of Ski Lane. Incidents were reported August 15th, 16th, and 19th between 10 and 10.30 p.m. each night at least eight Teen vehicles were damaged over the course of these three instances. Two occupants of the damaged vehicles are reported minor injuries. Just as officers were deployed uh, to monitor for potential response to these extreme things. And on Monday, October 21st, around 10 p.m., Fitchburg Sergeant, a pilot from the city's drone team, were flying drone above the bridge when they notified, noticed two individuals. Those individuals were later arrested and booked into the Dane County Ju Juvenile Recreation Center. More information is online. Have a great day, everybody.